Uh, greetings, AMC. Here's John Campy here, senior editor of AMC Movie News. And today for my editor's video blog, I want to talk about this incredibly shocking announcement that came out yesterday that G.I. Joe Retaliation, the sequel to the original G.I. Joe film, was being pushed back nearly a year from its June 29th release date, which is just over a month from now, to March 29th of 2013. Now, the official reason that's been given for this massive pushback was, of course, that they wanted, and they've made the decision, to do a 3D conversion process on the film so that they can release it in 3D in 2013. Now, listen, there's some very reasonable things about that uh, claim. Number one, with a 3D film, they can actually charge a little bit more money for the tickets and the films can make a little bit more money. That's a completely reasonable reason. I mean, you look at the success of the Avengers and how much money that movie is making it. And part of the reason that Avengers has made so much cash is because a lot of the screenings for Avengers have been in 3D, which have slightly higher ticket premium prices. So it's completely reasonable. However, as a film fan, I don't buy it. I don't think for a minute that the reason this film has been pushed back to 2013 is because they've decided to do a 3D conversion. And I don't buy it for a couple of reasons. Number one, the people behind this film are very, very intelligent. They have heard of 3D conversion before. They knew they could make this film in 3D before they started shooting it. They knew they could make this in 3D as they were shooting it. They knew they could convert it to 3D once the shooting was done. They knew they could have converted this film to 3D prior to spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on an advertising campaign telling the movie going public that the film was opening on June 29th. There has been lots of time to make the decision to do a post 3D conversion on G.I. Joe. So I don't believe for a second that they just suddenly out of nowhere decided to do this and do it right now about a month away from release. If you'll indulge me, and this is all pure speculation on my part, I'd like to offer three reasons why I think they really pushed back this movie to 2013. The first reason I believe, and once again, this is all speculation on my part, but I believe the first reason that they push it back is because I think they're scared of Spider-Man, and for good reason. Look at Battleship right now. Now look, Battleship was never going to be a movie that made $100 million on opening weekend, but they expected it to make a lot more than just the $25 million it made on opening weekend, and one of the big reasons it only made $25 million on its opening weekend was because it ran into this huge, giant juggernaut known as The Avengers, which took in $55 million on its third weekend in release, which is almost unheard of. Spider-Man has been tracking extremely well. And the trailers, people are buzzing about them much more positively than I think they anticipated maybe even just a few months ago. With all that being taken into consideration, I think the makers of G.I. Joe have been a little bit afraid of becoming the next battleship and running into a really hot movie, sucking away a lot of the box office business. And I don't think they wanted that to happen. The number two reason, and again, this is all speculation, is it sounds like the film has not been testing well with audiences. There was a report out on the popular news site Ain't It Cool News earlier today suggesting that they have heard from people at screenings, and the people who have been test screening G.I. Joe Retaliation have been giving it a lot of negative feedback. So there could be you know, some room there that the filmmakers want to make improvements to the, th to the film. The third reason, and again, total speculation, but why I think they've pushed back G.I. Joe almost a year is because of Channing Tatum. I think they want a lot more Channing Tatum. Now, in that same report on Ain't It Cool News, they said a couple of the questions that they asked the screeners at the film revolved around Channing Tatum. What did you think about him in it? And one question, question specifically asking, do you or would you like to see more Channing Tatum in it? I think that's very telling. Now, look, when they started shooting G.I. Joe, Channing Tatum was not really considered a box office draw. That was before the, the massive success of 21 Jump Street, which Channing was fabulous in, and before all the buzz about Magic Mike. Now Channing Tatum is seen more as a commodity and specifically as a box office draw, which he wasn't before. I believe that you are going to see G.I. Joe in 2013 with a lot more Channing Tatum than they were going to have. What we've seen in the trailers is that Channing Tatum, along with everybody else in the cast from the original film, gets killed off almost immediately. I won't be surprised at all if Channing Tatum su survives that initial attack in the film and is actually in a lot more. Look, The Rock himself has said that they're going to be shooting some new scenes in 3D, but I believe it's more than just in 3D. I believe there are going to be a lot more scenes with Channing Tatum. And interestingly enough, I think if the makers of the film, if I'm right in any of my speculations, 
I think if the makers of G.I. Joe had just come out when they announced that they were pushing the film back and said, look, we believe we have found ways to make G.I. Joe a better film, more worthy of the fans of G.I. Joe to give them a better experience at the theater, and to do this, we're going to push it back to 2013, I think movie audiences would have embraced that news and celebrated the fact that the producers of G.I. Joe are looking out for the interests of the film fans, as opposed to some of the anger and outrage we saw spreading around online yesterday. But once again, it's all just speculation on my part. I want to know what you think. Do you think 3D post-conversion is the exclusive and only reason they pushed back J.J. so long? Are you still looking forward to the film? I know personally I am, but let me know your thoughts. That'll do it for my video blog. Thanks a lot for joining me. Until next time, my name is John Cambia. Bye-bye.